gonna live in life on a party. Hi, listen, I'm about to go on a journey of no sugar. So this is my last disrespect. Sheer disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Classic Chronicles there. Oh, Classic Chronicles. You don't have her pants like, you should be shy. Oh my gosh, this is good. Anybody here? Anyone? I'll have a little piece. This is my last day eating sugar from my last weekend. Come on my channel and watch what's going to happen. My journey of getting back. And the series is going to be reversing the curse. Reverse the curse. This is full of sugars. Sugars. And stuff that's not good for. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. I just jumped on here real quick to share my update. It has been uh, 10... 12 days, 12 days since today marks 12 days since I decided to embark on reversing the curse. And this is my update on the things with arthritis, arthritis, and things that's going on. Every day I'm getting better, every day I'm able to walk a little better. It's, it's, we're getting there, we're getting there. So, on another note, I am down, I think, the last time I checked was 12 pounds. Uh, excuse I'm out here running errands, you know, so I'm just, you know, jumping on real quick. Uh, excuse the, the background noise. I'm out here in the sun, get my vitamin D, also take my supplements. So, I want to share... Um, the journey thus far, 12 days, only 12 days, not even two weeks yet. It, for me, I'm, I'm gonna use my words correctly. I used to be a junk food junkie or lover, loved sweets. And I'm gonna call myself an ex junk food lover. Not saying that I don't have a sweet tooth not saying that not saying that I don't have my days but I must say this I've been doing better than before I have not picked up any sodas potato chips anything I'm going to share this though um, in my weakest moments I had um, a couple pieces of cornbread small pieces of cornbread and because this week is no white bread, no white rice, things like that, no potatoes. But this week I did have a little thing, and I'm not going to say a mistake or anything. I know what I did when I put it in my mouth, but I know that I get back up. And, you know, for some of you, you may say, oh, cornbread is not bad, but everybody's different. Okay, and I that would, like, trigger the sweetness in the um cornbread probably will trigger me so I ate it then I let it you know let it go and then I'm um, on the next day you know you know pushing myself talk myself you gotta encourage yourself people you gotta encourage yourself let me get a better angle you gotta encourage yourself um not to give up okay not to give up I'm now, I want to show you some pictures because I'm going to show the video before that was my last piece of that chocolate cake and I was determined because the pain was speaking so great to me that I said I can't, um, life, even with the word of God, um, he gave us life and I wasn't not full, living my full potential in every areas of my life and one of them was my weight okay so saying that and my health so saying that i'm gonna take a few pictures to show you um where i am now this is not it this is not the the end this is not the end of it all this is a lifestyle change i'm not just doing this just to like for the summer no baby 
mm -mm, I'm not doing that just for the summer because it's when the summer ends, that means that the mindset to go back to eating crazy. No. Mm -mm. Well, you know, I'm getting all a little. I got there's things I gotta work on. There's things I gotta work on. There's things I gotta still work on, but I am working on pushes. So I just want to come on here to give an update and um, check out that um, that book that I've been posting, Natural Cures. Check that out. That's where I found that glucose, glucosamine, glucosamine. That's where I found out where you take that, it will uh, build back up your cartilage in your bones. Also, that's where I've um, checked out um, the uh, the tea that I've been drinking. You can put it in your smoothies. Um, it's a powder. It's a moringa, moringa, M O R M O R I N G A. I've been taking that. Oh. 300, it, it cures 300 diseases. Check that out too, people. There, there is things God already put on this earth for healing. Instead of us reaching for that, um, that, that, that next pill on the drink, God has given us so much in, on earth to use for elements. And he, by his stripes and every day, and when I'm feeling the pain, I put my hand on the pain. I said, by your stripes, I am healed. By your stripes, I am. So I'm speaking that. And I'm claiming my healing in this arthritis. I'm claiming my healing that I'm able to walk, run, marathon. Mm. We're going to work on that one. But thank you for checking out this video. And I'm going to put um, the video before when I was eating the chocolate and where I am now. So thank y'all. We'll see you soon with another update. Or with another update later. Okay, good morning again. And this segment right here, we're going to talk about high blood pressure. Don't underestimate how important it is to get plenty of movement every day. If you work in front of a computer, make sure you get up and move around every one to two hours. If you're if you are on a long plane flight, if you're on a long plane flight, make sure to get up and walk around and at minimum point your toes forward and backwards for several repetitions every hour. Okay, that's other recommendations. These are the references. High blood pressure. As blood circulates through the blood is pressure against the walls of the arteries. Blood pressure may temporarily rise from exercise, stress, and emotional emotions ranging from joy to anger. Use the pressure returns to normal once the situation has passed. Okay, you can read this. You can stop the video right here to read the rest of it there. 90% of all cases of high blood pressure are called primary or essential hypertension, meaning that there is no underlying disease and no obvious cause, and smoking has been linked to an increase in blood pressure. And then you have the essential hypertension. So these are the symptoms, Re recurring headaches, dizziness, unexplained sweating, nosebleeds, visual disturbances, shortness of breath, flushed cheeks, ringing in the ears. Root causes a diet that's high in fat, and there's that word again, sugar, <laughs> and or salt. Use of alcohol or caffeine and other stimulants. Smoking, obesity. Inactivity, pregnancy, birth control. 
oops, under heavy metal poisonings and stress. There's a treatment, treating techniques. So blood, urine, hair, treatment. The Western diet has a lot to do with hypertension, following the suggestions that can make a real difference in your blood pressure and overall wellness. Here's your recommended foods. A diet high in fiber is an excellent way to control and reverse heart. Let's say it again. A diet high in fiber is an excellent way to control or reverse, reverse the curse, high blood pressure. Your meal should be based around fresh, raw vegetables, soy products, whole grains, oats, beans, nuts, and seeds. Dehydration increases the risk of hypertension. So drink a, drink a glass of clean, quality water every two waking hours. Every two hours. Drink a glass of water. As you lower your, your salt intake, you must also increase your consumption of potassium, combination of excess sodium and a deficiency in potassium has been found in many people with hypertension. Okay? Good sources of potassium include apples, avocados, asparagus, cabbages, cabbages, cabbage, oranges, tomatoes, bananas, kelp, alfalfa. Okay? Also, let's go. I'm trying to hold a book straight while I show you. Which is excellent type of soluble fiber. Onions, garlic, parsley has been shown to bring down blood pressure. Also, they also add flavor to vegetarian meals, so take advantage. Okay, you can pause the video right here. Pomegranate juice. Reduce blood pressure. Okay, foods to avoid. Okay. Oops, sorry. Saturated, hydro, hydrogenated, hydronated, and hydrogenated fats cause high blood pressure and place a terrible burden on your arteries. Eliminate animal products, margarine butter, shortening and refined vegetable oils, sugar, overindulge in caffeine. Okay. Screenshot. Let's pause the thing so you can read this now. Okay. Anything else here? Okay. Super. Seven prescriptions for high blood pressure to help. Um, Hawthorne. Number two. Coenzymes. Excuse me. Number three. Calcium and magnesium. Hibiscus, garlic, fish oil, potassium. Okay. And I think this is general recommendations. Vitamin C, passion flower, valerian, chamomile, taurine. Okay. They're sharing, let's insert, they're sharing a piece of the book. Okay, all right. Stress reduction. Other recommendations? Thank you, beautiful people.